So this is um, the premium uh, Four Seasons of Dachla. Oh my god, the shots everywhere! in your hand and you got a nice little sand scrub. Ah oh, man. Right, time for a change of scene, I think. Okay, we got the event vests on. Got the boards ready, got the kites pumped. Everyone's already left because we're doing a bit of filming, so we're a little bit behind. Gonna shred and catch up. Finally, we are off. Got everything ready. It's quite a big mission to get this whole lot together. Woo, but we are ready to go now. I haven't caught it in like two years. <laughs> Never used the board before. And about to do 500 kilometers downwind. Just at the white dune here, you can see it over there, and uh, it's an amazing spot. It's one of the craziest spots to kite surf, I think, in the world, with a big sand dune and the sea that you can jump off and sit on top of and chill on with a perfect flat water spot behind it. Uh, this is uh, really what Dakla is famous for. This um, it's like one of the craziest kite spots I think I've ridden. Okay, shred log. Shred log on the downwind, we're about, what, how many miles into it would you say? I reckon okay. about 30 maybe, 20? 20 miles into yeah. it probably, we're about another at least 10 miles past the white dune now. We still haven't caught up with everybody but we're on our own in the middle of the desert, it feels, and it's pretty epic, got to stop some water. Yeah. I've almost drunk a litre and a half. Ready. You need a lot of water if you can do this. Now this is real kiteboarding backcountry.
Yeah. Maybe we should check it out. In that guy's house. What no one has realized is that the best way to build up a tent is facing the wind. It's like a kite, so basically what's happening now is that you have the air coming in, you can have like a nice little cool breathe coming in in the morning. We'll see, maybe we're gonna be super cold, but out of experience, just look at this beauty here. Yeah, versus, you know. Nailed it. I'm cool. Thanks, bro. <laughs> this is Look at the that. Way. Cheers, man. Right Cheers, bro. <laughs> <laughs> mm. How's it going in there? Man, I slept like a baby, dude. That's the desert for you. Uh, everyone's in the tent here behind me. And uh, there's already guys out riding. The wind picked up in the night. It's looking like it's about 18 knots this morning. And uh, everyone's getting ready to, to go out for a little free ride sesh. Yeah, changing from straps to boots. So it's important stuff. Okay, so it's morning of day three here in the Dakla Downwind Challenge and we are at Shipwreck Beach. I guess it's called Shipwreck Beach. We're at a beach in the middle of the desert with a shipwreck on it. Everyone's out shredding already. It's looking pretty sick. It's a nice day. Let's get on it. This is part of the game, man. <laughs> no mission in the desert is complete without getting a 4x4 stuck in the sand. So we've made it to the campsite for day three or four. I'm losing track of the days here. What are you doing, guys? We're rigging the tent for the, for the night tonight, and we've taken a rather risky strategy of being on top of the hill next to the beach when everyone else is camping down there in the wind shadow. So we're in full wind up here, but it's a nicer view, so what we're we going for. Very nice. Sea views. Okay, so it's looking a bit rough. It happens once a year, man. Our boss of our uh, towels in the tent. So if someone needs to shower, this is the moment, okay? <laughs> it's only gonna last for five minutes, so be quick. Yeah, so it's a great day, huh? We have water. First shower after three days, man. It's amazing. <laughs> it does. Yeah. yeah, after three days. And uh, here's my personal <laughs> assistant. <laughs> there are some places in the world that are worse than others for plastic pollution and uh, you know where the rubbish drifts up onto the beach and down here in the in the Sahara and just generally in the desert the rubbish seems to wash in and just collect on the coastal regions 
and it's just such a shame to see and it's nice to be able to do something about it whilst we're here. This is like premium deluxe. If you're just add a little bit of sand in your hand and you've got a <laughs> nice little sand scrub. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you need to out. Like dry, dried out like skin. The, the desert does funny things to you. So after four days without a shower, the first fresh water. This is Morocco and the, the, the Sahara Desert Master Chef. <laughs> What's the uh, recipe? Uh, it's a secret. We cannot tell you. A little bit more. After you eat, I will tell you what is inside. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. I like weird shit. Wow. I think the hardship brings everybody together, so it's like, you know, it's nice, it's a good bit of struggle. Now yes, now yes. There you go, that's going now. It's windless. It's turning into a windless oh, desert mission. Now bringing your left leg up to the sky. And then exhale, bring it forward, coming into pigeon on the left side. We're just about to film a drone shot of all the cars driving through the village here. And uh, then we're heading down to uh, the border of Mauritania. We're in the convoy. All right. I mean, there hasn't been much wind. It hasn't been very windy at all. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, the last stage we just had to drive down to get to the, uh, the further south point that we're going to go in the Sahara. And uh, this is it. This is the border between Mauritania and Morocco. And uh, yeah, it's the further south we can go because I think there's a, a no man's land after this. Let's get a group shot, shall we? Yes. Yeah.